boy, friends, my um, dehydrator <laughs> has been working on overtime. Anyway, I'm I'm dehydrating my patty pan squash for wintertime for soups and casseroles and stuff like that. So I thought I'd show you just how easy this is to do. Okay? And all I did was I sliced them real thin on my mandolin. I just put them in here on my tray. They've all been washed and I dried them so there's no water left on them. My table's all nice and clean. And I'm going to show you. I just need to I cut the ends off. A bit off the ends. Okay, and then I just run them on my mandolin and it makes them real thin. Be careful of your fingers. I use a fork. I do this every year with patty pans. I love to grow patty pan squash. And the years that I don't grow them, I'll buy them because I got, uh, there's a farm market down the road from me and they always sell patty pans. And I love them for soups. They really turn out nice. So, you can freeze them too, but I like them dehydrated. They rehydrate real nice. I don't blanch them or anything like that. I just slice them. I use them, the real small ones, and I slice them, seeds and all. I just cut the ends off. Skin, I don't peel them. I just slice them right up, and they're perfect. Just cut the little piece of the end off, and that's it. That goes to the chickens. They love it. And I just do this. out pretty good. So if you wanted to hydrate patty pans, now you can do this with any squash, any summer squash I want to say. If you want to dry them out or dehydrate them, it works good. Just lay them out flat on your trays and they will be wonderful. I don't, I lay them in a single layer too. You gotta do that. And I put these ones around the edges. So, I got enough room to dry something else on here and I gotta dry a couple of peppers. Okay, now I got room. I got one tray left here. Those four trays are all filled with now and then when I dry a whole lot, then I have both my dehydrators going. But this time around I just have this one. And I'm just going to take these and I just slice these. Like so. Like I said, they've all been washed. I just chop them. Nothing fancy. Again, I don't blanch these either. Throw them right on there. Turns out wonderful. You can do it in slices, too. You don't have to chop them diced. You can do it in slices. But I like them diced because I use them for... Let me get that off there. I use them for soups and chilies and put them in my stew. and They really turn out good. showed you before whoops already showed you before how I did this but that's all right 
Some of you guys might have missed it. Just dice them up and dehydrate them. That one's got a little more. Okay. And try not to cut your fingers. Well, I've been so busy doing all this. I've got a lot that I've got dehydrated. Let's see all my jars behind me. They're getting full. This cuts your grocery bill in the wintertime. I'm like a little squirrel in the summer and the fall gathering for the winter. And there's, not, there's no better feeling than having a stocked pantry Especially on a budget, having been all ready for winter, or if something happens, you've got food for a while, you never know. All right, friends, that's it. You see all those on there? I'm going to take that and plug that in, give the scraps to the chickens, wipe my table off, and those will be dry. The peppers will take longer than the squash. The squash will take about 8 hours. The peppers will take almost 12. So, when that's all done, I'll bring you back and show you how nice it all turns out. Hey, friends. I showed you yesterday how I did the patty pan squash, and I dehydrated some more of my peppers, and they turned out beautiful. Absolutely. Okay? We're going to put these right in here because I'm going to dump these in my jar. They're gorgeous. Okay, that'll have to be washed up. Let's see. This is my jar right here with all my peppers in it for the winter. These turned out beautiful. Absolutely. And somebody asked me, they said that they thought maybe they did something wrong because their peppers come out looking like there was no meat left. Let me show this to you. They said it looked like there was nothing left in the middle, if you can see that, and it looked like there was just skin. That is how they're going to turn out because they're completely dried. And once you rehydrate them, of course it fluffs back up, puffs up. But to the person who asked me, and I don't remember your name, forgive me, that is how they're going to look. That's perfectly normal, and that's what you want. So, let me put that back on there. Give that a little shake. Mix it in. Perfect. Got a lot of peppers for the winter. Now, these are the patty pans that I dehydrated. And I'm sure you can see them. Let me show you up close. These turned out nice, and these I did real thin. Remember I showed you I did them real thin? Because these are good for casseroles and soups, all that. So, with that, I am going to package these in one of these handy dandy vacuum pack bags. because I'm not going to put them in a jar. So we're just going to pack these right into here. And I think maybe we'll see how many I got in here. I might not uh, seal them because I want to fill the bag completely full. 
I don't know if I'll be able to do that with this, with what I got here. I have to dry some more. But anyway, you'll get an idea on how they turn out. They dry up very nice, and we love using these in soups. Mainly, I use these in my vegetable soup because they, they, they just taste wonderful. That's why they're nice and thin. And you know, you can just come in here and munch on a few. They're like chips. I don't see why you couldn't. Okay, I don't think we're going to have a bag full, and I don't want to waste this bag on a half a bag of these. So I do have more to dry. So once I get them all dried and this bag full, then I'll go ahead and seal it. But I think I'm just going to wait for now. Yeah, because I'm not going to, I don't want to waste all that bag. But those do, they, they're, they're wonderful. Then I can seal them for longer term because I've got a lot of them. My plant produced a ton of these. So I'll have some for this year and I'll probably have some for the next couple years. So that's why I'm going to put some of them in a, in a vacuum bag, fill it full for the next couple seasons. Anyway, that's how nice they turn out. So, and you can, you can fill your, your dehydrator. Mine's, mine's like on overdrive. You can fill your dehydrator. If you got a couple of trays left, you can mix and match. I just wouldn't dry onions and garlic with anything else but onions and garlic. But the other vegetables you can mix. I, with my, I don't have a whole lot of trouble um, with stuff flavoring others, other items. But anyway, there you have it, friends. That's how easy it is to dry the patty pan squash. Thanks for watching.